to, to make it flat. Even sanding with a block, you can't always get the rosette flat. Um, that's for sure going to be the case with your rosette on a cedar top. You guys have Sitka tops, and that's better. This Engelman top is softer, and so this whole rosette, I could feel it. It was raised a bit. So a scraper can make that flat. Now, I don't want to sand with anything too coarse after this, because this top is already nicely sanded. So now I'll grab my, my small block. Two forty grit paper. There's some two forty grit too. This is all my sandpaper for doing my necks. <laughs> ah, I thought I had two forty. Maybe not. Yeah. <coughs> so I'll bear down on that now. <coughs> I'll bear down just right under the that. You're saying from mine I'm going to have to scrape it? What's that? From mine, you're saying I'm going to have to scrape it? I'm almost sure you'll have to. There's a cedar top. Even sanding with a block, the rosette ends up raised. There's a cedar sand so much faster than yeah. that. Are you sanding completely flat? Huh? Are you flat now? With a block? You sand flat or you sand Are you, are you putting an emphasis on the rosette? I'm emphasizing the rosette. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm holding, this, the block has to be flat. I'm not leaning it, but I'm pushing on the rosette. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's where the pressure is. So pr with the Sitka top, you might not need to scrape it, but, but anyway, you'll probably have to sand it with a, little, with a block. If you hit it with a buzzer, it'll raise it for sure, yeah. even with a set to I top. I noticed that. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go all around my binding the same way with a little bit of angle, because I was, even I leaned the buzzer, it's probably a little bit of a dip, so I'm going to go all around just to make sure that <coughs> that's nice and even with the top. Okay, that's, that's really all I wanted to show.